Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Welcome to this segment. In this session, I'm going to be teaching how to make cap sleeves. Just like the name implies, a cap sleeve is simply a sleeve that just covers the cap of the sleeve. You know, when we draw a sleeve, we have what looks like this. And this here will be the cap right here of the sleeve. Depending on the length of your sleeve, you extend it down to form your sleeve. And you can check my video on how to make sleeves. I think I have something um, that describes, that explains this a little bit better. So you can check that out. So from here to here, is the cap so when we talk about the cap sleeve what we are talking about is we're making a very short um, sleeve and this is very very easy to make so it's like your full basic sleeve you're just making that upper part of that sleeve that's what we mean by cap sleeve and that's why many times you will see the cap sleeve just covers just the upper part of the arm and you can have your cap sleeve made in different ways. You can have it such that it just covers just um, about half of your arm or maybe a little bit extended below that. In which case, you can still have a little bit of your arm all extended a little like this. So this is like you just having a sleeveless and you have this tiny little um, sleeve, which is your cap sleeve just covering that. You can also have another cap sleeve that will cover the entire length of your arm o so i'm going to demonstrate with my wrapping paper again just to show you how you can cut a cap sleeve so to cut a cap sleeve very easy you can use your arm o measurement to determine what you need if you have an arm o of 20 inches for example you'll take that 20 inches and you divide it by two Remember from the diagram I showed you, the cap sleeve may just be by the middle of your armhole area around the midpoint all the way up. So you can divide that by two and that's going to give you 10 inches, but you'll now hide your seam allowance half inch on both sides. That will give you around, um, that'll give you 11 inches half on one side, half on the other side. That is one inch. So what you want to do is you want to measure 11 inches. That's your 10 plus your one inch seam allowance. So if this is our 11 inches, we'll now come to the midpoint. I'll mark the midpoint right here. Now at that midpoint is where you want to measure for your cap height. Some people will normally do like four inches and some will do like three and a half anywhere from three inches to five, but you don't want it to be too extended at the same time. But another method you can do is you can say whatever you have here, which in this case is 11 inches, you can say divide that by three, okay? Now, this is not an even distribution. If it was like 12, you could say divide by three, you'll get four inches. But if you have like this 11 inches or you have eight inches or any other uh, measurement that you can that is not easily divisible by three you can just round it up to whatever is closest like in this case now what i'll have here 11 divided by three will give me 3.67 so i can just um round that up to 3.75 if i like or you can round it down too that's the thing about the cup sleeve it's very flexible it's very adaptable so you can either round it up or you can round it down. And I'm just going to measure something close to it, either rounding up or rounding down, plus my allowance. So that brings me to like um, 4.25 if I'm doing 3.75. So I can just do this. And this right here is where it stops. And then what you want to do is you can either fold it at that point like this 
okay and then you just want to draw a cuff to that end you can take your cuff ruler and you just make a cuff from right there to this end that's one thing you can do that's one thing you can do and then you just cut that you cut it you cut that and you have your cap sleeve but going by what we are doing before you can also just come here and I just look for the center like this and you can do like a cuff right here and whatever you have and you, if you don't have a cuff ruler you can look for a round um, object and just make sure it's centered and then from there you can now come down and draw from there down to where you have the line for the sleeve you come to the other side and you do likewise to where you have the line for the sleeve as well and then you cut and that will give you your cap sleeve so that gives you your cap sleeve very easy oh i forgot to mention when you are um, doing this cap sleeve i mentioned you putting an additional for your seam allowance most times if you're making one with a fabric that's not like lace what you want to do is you want to fold that fabric on the bias let me get a sample let me use this you want to fold the cap sleeve something like this and then if you have your pattern you just put this and you just cut it so this way this is already folded so you don't need to m this at the edge okay but in other cases that you will need to m that at the edge you want to put that into consideration when you are cutting your sleeve so let's demonstrate with this fabric so to make your cap sleeve remember that this is just going to cover about half of your armhole so whatever the armhole is you want to take a half of that plus your allowances so if you're doing a free end i have folded this into two so what you can do is you can either fold it this way and cut one sleeve at a time or you can cut two sleeves together so when you do this you want to consider what is the full um, all you have if you have like 20 inches and the way you can do that is you can measure the person's um arm all by going all around from the shoulder round to underneath the armpit all around the arm around that area that's one way and then also when you finish doing your dress or your top or wherever you want to attach this you can just take it take that um arm all and just measure that arm all you can do that as well and this cap sleeve is also great if you have a sleeveless dress and you wanted to put a sleeve into your sleeveless dress so what i'm gonna do is I know that the arm all I'm using is 20 inches, right? So I'm going to take half of that, which will be 10 inches. I'm going to add my allowances half on both sides when it's folded like this. That makes it one. So when I fold this, I want to make sure I have 11 inches or a little more. So next thing is, in this case, I'm cutting two sleeves together. So next thing is to fold it the way we would do our regular sleeve. So I folded this now. And then what I want to do now is I want to take half of that 11 inches, which is what I have right here, five and a half. And then I want to take what my cap height is. Now these have um, lace trimmings here. So my length is going to start being measured from the um, tip of the lace trimming. So your cap height is dependent on you, as I've explained earlier with the paper. So in this case, I'm going to make a cap height of four. So I'm going to add my allowance at the top here. So I'm going to have four and a half. So now this is where I have my full fold and this is where it's going to be the center of my 
sleeve so you don't want to cut where you have an opening because then that means you have cut one center open so always make sure it's a full fold and i have a video on sleeves that is very detailed if you want to check that so what you want to do now is you just want to cuff this all the way straight like that it's very very easy you can use your french cuff if you prefer to you can come here and just use your um french cuff to help you to get the line as well and so i'll just cut this and that is your your cap sleeve right there again you can make it whatever length you want you can make it a little longer but because it's a cap sleeve it's supposed to just be your cap height so you don't want it to be too long so this concludes how to do a cap sleeve if you found this tutorial useful please leave this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to click the bell so that that way you know when i upload new videos thank you for all of your support and thank you for watching this video bye i do hope this video has been very helpful to you please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications thank you so much hope to see you in the next video bye